Hello everyone, my name is Hassan, and welcome back to another Data in the Wild episode hosted by Data Meaning. Before we begin, don't forget to subscribe to the channel below and click the bell to turn on notifications to be the first to know every time we upload a new video. Hello everyone, today we're going to talk about Snowflake caching. So in Snowflake, we have three types of caching and leveraging them can save you money and speed up results. We have met the metadata cache that holds object info and statistics and results cache that holds data for like 24 hours of results and warehouse cache that holds data per warehouse as long as it is running. And note that users cannot see each other's results, but results cache can reuse one user's result cache and utilize it for another user. So over here, if we run this uh, this count uh, query over our Parkinson table, you can see from the history tab below, if you click on the query ID and go to the profile, it's 100% retrieved from the metadata, metadata cache and also over the details here let me show you in the history tab and refresh it so this is our last query you can see that uh, we don't have any uh, bytes scanned externally it's, it didn't utilize any warehouse over here so the warehouse wasn't utilized because it retrieved the data from the metadata uh, cache results. If you go back again and just retrieve the age column from the Parkinson table, you will see over here, just change this, and then I get all table over here. So for this query ID, we can see from the uh, query profiler that uh, data wasn't uh, retrieved from the metadata uh, results cache. And at the first time from the history tab, you can see this query. Let me just refresh our history tab. So this query took 324 milliseconds to fetch our data and it utilized the warehouse from here. If we run it once again, you will notice that even the duration uh, that it required this query to run was way more or less than the initial time. And if I click on this on this query ID, you can see that it was 100% fetched from the query result uh, cache from the query profiler. And another thing also for the local local cache in the warehouse, uh, it doesn't uh, store data after being uh, suspended. So if I just turn it off and on again, you will be able to see that uh, this result will be fetched again. And the metadata cache never dumps and it always has the up-to-date statistics of all objects and information. If it hasn't changed or being inserted any data, Whereas the results cache expires after 24 hours or when the data is altered and the warehouse cache gets dumped when warehouse is suspended. So here I'm gonna, I'm gonna suspend this warehouse. And from the worksheet, you can see over here it's suspended. I run it again, the results are uh, queried from uh, the results cache, nothing major had changed, but if I get specifically this name column and rename it as name, name altered. You 
you can see over here that this uh, result required to turn on again the uh, the warehouse to apply this uh, altering query and it had used it had didn't use any uh, stored result. It just uh, get deeper into the our centralized storage and fetch data again. So this is it for today, and thanks for watching. If you have any questions or suggestions for future videos, please comment below. Don't forget to subscribe to know when future videos are posted. And thank you for watching.